Good morning. Morning. We are gonna go have breakfast and then we have an 11 o'clock appointment to go flying. Well, not us, on an airplane. On an airplane, not a, a private airplane. Not a what's big it, one. What's it called, a two? I think, it's, I think they're called biplanes. On a biplane. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to the Museum of the Weird. And then... Nap time. Nap <laughs> and snacks. And yeah, it'll be fun to take you guys along with us today. Maybe. Driving to the airport. We had some really good breakfast. So much bacon. We're really excited. I've never been to like a private section of an airport. So I'm pretty excited with that part. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm afraid that I'm gonna get sick because I get like motion sickness. A lot of the times lately, I never used to, but over the last couple months, I feel like I'm always sick doing something, so uh, I apologize in advance if I throw up on camera. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, Rob Whiteside. I'm based out of Austin, Texas. My company is Austin Biplane. I'm here with Kevin and Leanne. They're traveling North America. Uh, the beauty of this plane is it looks like a 1935. It's basically the same plans and specs is that they use in the 30s, but they build them brand new up in Battle Creek, Michigan. Um, I can also fit three people in the plane, so I'll have two passengers, and I actually fly the plane from the back, so my passengers sit together in the front seat. Fly around Austin, uh, around the Capitol Building, University of Texas, Lake Austin, Lake Travis. I also do uh, romantic sunset flights for couples, and then if you're a little bit more adventurous, I do aerobatic flights uh, for single passenger only. My background is uh, flying F-16s for the United States Air Force. I also flew uh, surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft uh, for Special Operations Command uh, Anti-Terrorism Task Force. So I, uh, active duty military about 10 years, and then I also I worked as a defense contractor overseas for uh, three years before I started the biplane business here at Austin.
36 ounces? Yep. What, uh, what color? I got? really like this color. I like a blue one then. So we can put the exploring stickers on there too. Made with durable kitchen grade stainless steel. I almost feel like this might be too heavy or too big. Okay. What do you think? I'm getting one of these and you're not using it this time. I'll go ballistic on you. <laughs> that's how many ounces? 26. Yes, that's 10 more ounces. That's a really big water bottle. That's a big water bottle too. <laughs> yeah, I think that's too big though. When do you get My that? My gut is saying this one. Okay, I'll get this one. I'll get that one. Exactly what we thought that would yeah. be. <laughs> it was Could some people say that it was a waste of twenty-four dollars? Sure, twenty-four American dollars. Sure, but it was entertaining. It was. And I, I'd say people should do it. <laughs> yeah, I would say that people should definitely do it because it's totally weird and <laughs> that's cool. So we're yeah. gonna find something to eat, eh? Yep. Let's do it. It was a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. I'm tired. <laughs> We went on an airplane ride in the morning, around 11, that was a lot of fun, and then we went to the Museum of the Weird, that was fun too. We went to the Yeti store first. That's true. We got big Yeti drinking things. Carafts? Carafts. No, what are they called? Ramblers? Bottles? Rambler. Who Ram knows? I think Ramblers. Whatever. It was a good day. That was the first day in a while of us just kind of hanging out. Oh, so thing. nice. I think we really miss the motorhome though. I miss the house. AKA the motorhome. And the puppies. I really miss Pebbles. Tomorrow morning we're off to Denver. Yeah. Although I could do without that extra day in Denver. Yeah, because like we just had a day off. I'd rather keep going and have a day off later when we need it. Because like from Denver. We go to Phoenix, to Vegas, LA, then we have an extra day. We're going to go to Universal VIP Experience. We'll share it with you guys. And then, yeah, I could do without the extra day in Denver. But we're going to get to see some pretty cool things in Denver, too. So it is what it is. We'll just make the best of it and get to see some people and do some stuff. Yep. It's lurking all the way. Hey. So we'll see you guys next Sunday where we'll share our Universal or maybe our Denver experience first and then Universal. I don't know. It'll be a surprise for both of us. We'll just wing it. All of us. Okay. Bye. Bye.